oil news in six minutes. It's 10.24 EST on August 3rd. Doesn't matter to me what oil news is. The only thing that matters to me where Fibonacci levels are and what price and Fibonacci are telling me. This is crucial Fibonacci reversal zone. Very close to 3,800. I'm expecting powerful bullish push on oil. We discussed many weeks ago that we expected oil at 40. Here's oil today on August 3rd at 40. As crucial Fibonacci resistance on oil had been reached and price reversed as expected. And here we are, very close to reversal zone. Not at 38, but very close. So here's our hourly chart, guiding light for day trading oil. This is hourly chart at reversal zone. Lower oil will retrace, more bullish our buyers will be. As always, close to reversal zone, bias is bullish. Right now, this bullish push is well overextended. Bias here is bearish. This is where we expect push down. At the time of oil news release, don't be surprised if you're going to see very powerful spikes up and down, potentially hundreds of ticks contradicting each other. Don't be surprised if under endless bounces, price will reverse further down. This is very crucial place, traders. This is not just reversal zone on hourly. This is again reversal zone on long-term chart. Weekly charts are institutional levels. Every time I work with hedge funds, first we look on weekly and then we look on monthly. This is where we're expecting serious volume. And this is a level spelled out by the price since many, many months ago. And this is why no knowledgeable trader ever shorts into reversal zone. I always respect news due to volatility. Everything preset into price by Fibonacci far in advance. Sell off on oil is exhausted. Reversal zone on hourly and weekly not to be ignored. Range between 38 and 40 is very powerful support and very powerful reversal levels. So let's take a look what the expectations are on oil. Expectations are minus 1 ME. Anything more negative is actually a bullish news, which will be a very good thing for reversal zone on oil. So, let's pay attention to volatility. I will convert that hourly chart to one minute chart so you can see and remember what happens at the time of the news release and why I said to you it is the worst Fibonacci timing right now as we are stuck in S&P. Here is one minute chart on oil news in one minute. So here we go, oil news at any moment. Reminder. Well, this is the reminder <laughs> and importance of oil news. <laughs> Never, ever, ever to be ignored. Remember what I said? Our bias close to here is bearish. And here is the power of knowledge. What will price do at this reversal zone? That remains to be seen. Will buyers step in with vengeance? That would be marvelous. How did we know that the bias here is bearish? The bias here is bullish. I have no idea what oil news is. Let's take a look. We have incredible oversupply on oil which is very bearish news. 
Will buyers cap in with vengeance, nevertheless, from reversal though? Shock or not, here is a dance on one minute chart. So we will continue revisiting oil. This was very powerful reminder. Do not ever buy into Fibonacci resistance. Do not short into Fibonacci support. All the levels been sitting in front of you long time ago. Bullish push from this level for 70 ticks already. News is extremely bearish. But shorts near this level, not an option. And here's oil, three minutes after oil news. Anybody surprised? Reversal zone in a play? And this is what happens each and every time. No surprise here whatsoever. So here's a reminder, bias here is bullish, bias here is bearish. Here is oil traders. Doesn't matter if it's oil monthly, it doesn't matter if it's one minute chart. Formula remains the same. Spike on oil, more than 100 ticks in a couple of minutes. And that's very crucial reminder of the importance of respecting reversal zone. And here we go, just showing you the importance of Fibonacci levels, as discussed well before oil news. Bias here is bearish, bias here is bullish. And that's what you're witnessing in front of you. It doesn't matter if it's oil one minute chart. It doesn't matter if it's oil monthly. Where oil staged powerful bullish rally from 3070 and powerful selling pressure from Fibonacci resistance. Very bearish news over supply and market rallying from reversal zone. Is that possible? If news had a meaning, everyone would have been Bill Gates. Never, ever, ever succumb to the news. Bearish news does not mean a thing. All price has to do is break through the end of the minor trend. Bullish rally on oil that spiked 120 ticks struggling to break through the end of the minor trend. Bullish trend is minor. Will price crash and burn confirming that this was temporary 120 ticks bullish push because of the reversal zone that price was not able to break through due despite bearish news? And price is struggling to break through to the upside because buyers are so weak. Nevertheless, 120 ticks spike is not to be ignored. And that's a power of Fibonacci that no indicator on the planet will give you. How you want to use it is your choice. Yesterday on S&P, exact same reminder. This was S&P collapse at the open. And this is when I was warning you. Shorts are not an option, we are at reversal zone. Bias firmly bullish. And if you thought I was out of my mind, this is what happened next. I said, we're going with the best case scenario, our only option to monitor for long. And that was a long trade that reached this crucial Fibonacci resistance. And this is what happened after the trading room close. Spectacular bullish push. And right now we're in the middle of the trend. Worst place to be. As I said to you, since pre-market and at the room open. Expect price here 
but we're in the middle of the trend, we're in a very painful place. If price is not retracing as low as possible, you are dealing with very unpredictable markets. S&P been here for a very long time. Worst place to be, middle of the trend. Shock or not, 30 minutes after extremely bearish news release, bullish spike of 120 ticks was not able to break through the end of the minor trend. Bullish trend is minor, sitting very, very pretty at this level. And that's how price moves each and every time, completely independently of anything, as all the levels preset in price by Fibonacci far in advance. Bearish news did not mean a thing. If it did, bullish rally would have never spiked out for 120 ticks on oil. But the fact that it was not able to break through this level is very powerful reminder. Bullish push is minor. Here is oil an hour after extremely bearish news. Up more than 100 ticks, but sitting very firmly at the end of the minor bullish trend. Once again, bearish news does not mean a thing. Fibonacci levels, however, mean everything.